in this video I want to show you our ICE digital daytime screen. You can see behind me we've got a screen set up and over the front of it we've got a piece of standard matte white screen cloth used on virtually every screen in every classroom around the world, meeting room and so forth. It's what most people think you need to use for a projection surface. And so what we have here outside are it's an 82 inch screen that you can see here now sitting on a floor stand as you can see here weighted down by a couple of blocks of concrete and we're using a Panasonic projector it's a DW830EK running on two lamps at just over 8000 ANSI lumen the afternoon sky here is um, slightly overcast a lot of clouds but also blue light patches so really how bright is it outdoors so if we have a look here we can see on the light meter it's running let's say 350 to the power of 10 so we have shall we say three and a half thousand lux of light falling on the gauge here um, on the sensor um, on the afternoon light on a bright sunny day we could expect that to be twice the brightness but we have a very pleasant afternoon here at the moment and just to give you a view of the sky you can see some clouds a bit of blue patch over here and so forth and we're outside now one thing I need to talk to you about is the color banding you can see now you can only see that through the camera to the naked eye that is a perfect picture in fact I would say the brightness I can't fault the brightness and I cannot fault the color imagery but it's simply because of the clash between the DLP uh, projector and the LCD technology in the camera and it causes that color banding that you can see but of course you can see on the matte white screen how it doesn't even show and that's the reason for that is that the matte white screen is so inefficient at reflecting light back to the viewer I can't actually even display that but we can see that very clearly on our eyes digital daytime screen Now we're able to supply the screens in a number of sizes and one of the issues that we have is that if they get too large we, we simply cannot ship them and it becomes a, a difficulty uh, for that. So typically we say up to 250 uh, inches diagonal widescreen we can fit into a 40 foot high top container. And again we can clearly see the colour banding which is a problem because of the DLP projector. So let's go up a little bit closer. And you can still, still see the banding. So we could say that if we wanted to see that banding with our naked eye, which we can't, um, you can see immediately it comes to the matte white screen. We lose it. We can't see it because in actual fact the screen is not efficient enough in reflecting light. These screens that we are showing you, ideal for 3D projection, 3D display. Of course you need a more controlled environment for that. Of course we can't see any of the movie on the matte white screen which is what we would expect uh, in this type of scenario. So the point I'm really trying to just demonstrate in this uh, short video is the fact that it's the screen itself that is the most crucial part in getting brightness from your device and 
you waste a lot of that efficiency when you're using a matte white screen uh, with any projector. And the only time that you'll find a matte white screen will work with any projector is to control the lighting environment, typically removal light, uh, especially sunlight. Of course we've pushed the barriers here because we're actually outside and as you can see there are no, there's no roof above us. We're simply out here on the driveway showing you this. Now a lot of people would never try and do a demonstration like this because typically they're thinking of using a matte white screen and they know, as you probably know, that it's impossible to get an image that's what we call commercially uh, useful um, in any environment. this type of technology has an application in your situation, I'd love to hear from you. Contact details on the end of this video and also on the accompanying text that you should see associated with the video. We look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching.